right, to get started, what you're going to want to do is go to obsproject.com. I'll have the link in the description below for you. Once you're at this page, you're going to want to go ahead and click the download button right here. Once the file is done downloading, go ahead and click the folder, the show in folder, right click the file, select copy, then go to local disk drive C, then go to program files, then go down to OBS studio, then click on data, then click OBS plugins and go down to front end tools, double click scripts and right click and an open area and choose paste. You now have the instant replay Lua in the proper folder so this will work. When you're done, go ahead and close the window. Next, you're going to go back to obsproject.com to a new page. I'll have the link in the description for you below. Once you're on this new page, go ahead and click the download button. Another window will pop up and on this window, go ahead and click the Windows installer on the top. When it's done downloading, go ahead and click the folder to show in folder. Go ahead and right click the file, select copy. Once you've right clicked and copied the file, go ahead and click on C local disk. Then click on program files and find the OBS studio folder and open it up. Once you're in the OBS studio folder, go ahead and right click and select paste. If it asks for permission, go ahead and click continue. Next, right click on the file that you just moved here. Go to WinZip and extract to here. If you do not have WinZip on your computer, you can go to WinZip.com and download a free trial. I will have the link in the description below. Choose Extract Here. Next, double click on the Move Transition Installer. You might get a pop-up that's trying to protect you from this file. Go ahead and click on More Info and click on Run Anyway. The installer window will pop up. Go ahead and click Next, click Next, click Install, then click Finish. Now go ahead and close out all these windows and open up your OBS Studio. All right, once you're in your OBS Studio, go ahead and create a new scene by clicking the plus sign and name it Instant Replay Scene. Then click OK. Once you're on your new scene, go ahead and add a new source by clicking the plus sign and add a media source. Create new and name it Instant Replay Source. Then click OK. Make sure that you click loop and you also click close file when inactive. Also choose use hardware decoding when available. Then click OK. Next, we're going to set up the instant replay Lua. Go ahead and go up to the tools, go to scripts, and then click the plus sign and select the instant replay Lua that we got earlier. Then click open. Once you've added the Lua, go ahead and click it and go over here to media source and in the drop down find your instant replay source then click close now it's time to set up your replay buffer go ahead and go up to file go to settings once settings is open go ahead and go to the output tab and then click on replay buffer once on this page make sure that enable replay buffer is turned on and your maximum replay time is set at 10 seconds also, make sure that your maximum memory is no larger than 512 megabytes. Then click Apply. Now go over to the Recording tab. Once you're on the Recording tab, you want to make sure that your OBS Studio is set up for recording. If you don't know how to set this up, I made a video a couple weeks ago. You could check it out on my channel. I'll also link it in the description. If you do not want to watch that video, you're more than welcome to just copy what I have here with my settings and put that on your PC. When you're done setting it up, go ahead and make sure that your recording path is somewhere that you're going to remember. We're going to need this later. So if you need to change that, go ahead and do that now by clicking browse and choosing a folder in your computer that you'll be able to easily access. I just choose my documents videos folder. Once you have that set up, go ahead and go to the general tab and make sure that automatically start replay buffer when streaming is turned on. You have to have a check mark there. Once you have that checked, go ahead and select hotkeys. Here on the hotkeys tab, you want to scroll down until you find instant replay. 
go ahead and click the box next to it hold down control hold down shift and press r this will set control shift r as your instant replay hotkey when you're done go ahead and click apply and then okay you should now have a new button down here called start replay buffer go ahead and click start replay buffer you're gonna have to wait about 15 seconds before you can click this button, which will save your replay. After waiting 15 seconds, go ahead and click save replay button. Now you wanna head back over to your newly created instant replay scene. Once you're on the instant replay scene, go ahead and double click your new instant replay source. Once you're on this window, go ahead and click browse. And then in this window, you're gonna want to find the folder that you chose in recording to save your replays. Once you're in that folder, go ahead and find the file that is labeled replay with the date and timestamp of the replay that you just took. Select that file and click open. Then click okay. Next, you wanna choose which scene you'd like to have your instant replays on, and then you make a duplicate of it. So I'm going to choose this scene right here and I'm gonna right click it and then we're gonna go to duplicate. And then you're gonna rename it in parentheses with instant replay. Then click okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to sources and click the plus sign and add a scene. We're going to add an existing scene. Go ahead and scroll down until you find the instant replay scene that you created earlier. Click okay. Now we're going to move and resize the window that we're going to display our instant replay on. Once you have the instant replay window in the right spot that you'd like to have it on your live stream, go ahead and go down to scene transitions. Once you're on scene transitions, go ahead and select the drop down box and make sure that the scene transition is set on move. If you don't have move, you could just add move by clicking add move. Or if you have a plus sign, you can click the plus sign and select move. Once you have move selected, go ahead and click on the settings and go to properties. Once you're in move properties, go ahead and scroll down until you can see appearing items. Make sure that easing is set at ease in and out. Your easing function is set at circular. Make sure that zoom is selected, position is none, and transition is none. Curve is set to zero. Once you have that, go ahead and click OK. After that, your instant replay is ready to go, you guys. All you've got to do is use the hotkey that you set up to capture your instant replay and switch to your newly created scene. I'll show you how to do it right here. Capture instant replay and switch to your newly created scene. I'll show you how to do it right here. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to set up instant replay on your OBS studio. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Y'all have a great day. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.